This instructional companion on slug versus pound mass falls under the major topic mathematics and in the chapter systems of units. However, this permeates the uh, MERM uh, way farther than that, as we will see. Well, this uh, instructional companion on slug versus pound mass, well, what, what about the SI metric system? How come there's not a problem there? Well, the reason is, is that the uh, definition uh, uses, used everywhere, and even in the MERM, is that essentially one newton, which is a unit of force, is essentially one kilogram times one meter per second squared. But that wasn't always the case. Originally, the uh, definition was uh, essentially one kilogram force, the, the idea of having an F and an M, one kilogram force was the amount of force needed to move one kilogram mass at the uh, acceleration of gravity in the, in the SI metric system, 9.8 meters per second squared. Well, uh, this kilogram force is our familiar term kilo. So it's still around uh, in commerce, but not used uh, in engineering. So uh, in the uh, development of the definition here, uh, the folks, uh, the SI uh, people, decided, well, let's keep kilograms, and of course, let's keep meters and seconds squared. So they decided, well, what can we call the new force? Well, they called it uh, N for, again, Newton, Newton's uh, second law, mainly. Um, so those are Newtons. So it was a logical, uh, a logical um, definition or name that they picked, and not so in the U.S. customary system. To me, the proper U.S. customary system is to say one pound force is the amount of force needed to move one slug, uh, the source of the slug versus pound mass, times one uh, foot per second squared. So this looks exactly like the uh, SI metric. Those two go together, and that is my, uh, my argument for, for using slugs, at least in the mechanics and in the fluids. Uh, we'll talk a bit about the other, other systems. Uh, this is the system, if you look in the MERM, this is the one that uh, he refers to as the English gravitational system. Uh, he calls the English engineering system, of course he didn't name it, uh, engineering system, uh, uses uh, the other definition, but uh, I, I say uh, you don't want to do that. So where, where did this pound mass come from? Well, the original definition, the one that actually I was taught when I was in school, which was back when they didn't have history, no, it's only kidding, is one pound force was the force required to move one pound mass uh, at uh, the gravity that they had just discovered. Uh, Huygens invented the clock, and so that was the first thing they ran out and did, um, times 32.2. The mistake uh, here is that they put gravity in the definition just like the mistake that was up here. So actually the historic history of this is that this came first, this came second, uh, this came third, and last uh, but not least was uh, the attempt by the U.S. customary system uh, to come up with a similar definition that everybody seems to like for the SI. The problem is, is of course, the name slug, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. However, let's look at the following uh, uh, calculation. So again, to save YouTube time, what I've done is just merely move the 32.2 from here to here, leaving one foot per second uh, here, just like the slug. And what happens now is if you match up the two equations, the result is one slug equals 32.2 pound masses. And that's the source of, of the problem. Okay. Well, the U.S. customary people, uh, fourth, uh, af after the SI metric had already come up with one newton is one kil kilogram times one meter per second squared, they said, okay, we want the same thing, one pound times one something times one foot per second squared. Here's what happened. If you just solve for the one question mark, move the units around, you get the following. You get uh, one whatever we're going to come up with the naming is, one pound second squared per foot. And that's kind of bizarre, but essentially what we're doing is saying, I don't want to carry around pound second squared per foot, so let's call it something. And, and I do realize that, uh, uh, that the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes other than New Coke, the idea of New Coke, was that they came up with the word slug. I've tried to Google and find out what idiot uh, picked that. I mean, he walks around with, with, a, with a little card in his wallet. I am an idiot. I know he does. Or maybe he's dead, but uh, 
uh, gone, passed on, but that was a huge mistake. Um, it just needed to be some other name and probably would have been okay. Some people just absolutely refuse to use the word slug, and that's okay. Even my PhD advisor, Dr. Michael Bowles, uh, actually would stop a bullet for him, and I think I owe him one of my children for helping me get through my, get my degree. And he's the co-author of the number one thermo uh, book in the country, which uh, if you don't have, have a copy, you need to get it. But he, he just refuses it, but since he works in thermodynamics, uh, this issue doesn't come up. In mechanics and fluids, it certainly does. So people that do this, uh, they take density, which is mass per volume, like in cubic feet. So instead of having feet, they now got feet to the fourth. Okay, what, what, what should they have? Well, what they should have is uh, mass per volume, slug per cubic foot, just like uh, in the metric system, it's kilograms per cubic meter. I mean, these two are compatible, uh, pound second squared uh, foot to the fourth. When I see that, I know that person <laughs> just will not use slugs. And, and again, in mechanics uh, and in fluids, uh, that can be a fatal mistake. I've seen that error uh, in Mechanical Engineering Magazine. It was many years ago, but if you're off by a factor of 32.2, people notice the motor is either 32 times too big or 32 times too little. And by the way, there are no trivial units errors. They are all major. So what is the source of G sub C? It appears um, throughout the MERM. In fact, uh, he has usually two sets of equations, one for US customary and one for SI metric. It's totally um, unnecessary if you went and used slugs, but he doesn't. So you see this G, G sub C. Where does that come from? Well, it comes from this uh, uh, relationship we, we found earlier um, that one slug is 32.2 uh, pound mass. Okay. Well, let's think about let's look at think about an example. Well, if you go over to uh, the chapter uh, on kinetics, uh, it's in a section I, I think called dynamics and um, and vibrations. Newton's second law is essentially uh, F equals m a, where the mass is equal to W over G. And if you use the units that I'm recommending, then if you have weight in newtons and divide by g, you'll get mass in kilograms. Uh, if you have weight in pounds and you divide by 32.2 gravity, you'll get mass in slugs and everything is happy. But here's what happens uh, in one of the examples there in that particular chapter. Well, the example has a sentence like the following. It says, a, and I put it in quotes here, a 5,000 uh, pound mass truck skids with a deceleration of 15 feet per second squared. Well, the M is supposed to tell you that that's mass, but in fact, it really is the weight because in the, um, the, the free body diagram that accompanies this, this is what you see. And I did, I'm not going to draw all the truck, but essentially see the weight label is 5,000 pound force. So the statement of the problem's got an M. The free body diagram's got an F. Well, you don't need either one of them. Uh, if you see, uh, as I'm going to say here in a second, if you see the word pound anywhere, then that is weight and go on and use that. You don't need M and F. And then divide by G in order to get uh, slugs and uh, you don't have this problem. But here's the following calculation and it's typical throughout the MERM. Okay, in the solution, what you see is a, a term that looks like this. They've got five, he's got 5,000 pound mass. He's dividing by what he calls G sub C, and the G sub C to him is 32.2. That's where the 32.2 comes from. Pound mass feet per pound force dot second squared. What kind of, jeez. No, no. What you need to do is the following. Okay. What you need to do, as I said, just treat the 5,000 as, as the weight. Weight over gravity, 5,000 divided by uh, 32.2 feet per second squared. We know, we, we recognize that as gravity, just like we recognize 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. Uh, if you had a G sub C in the metric system, it would be kilogram mass dot meters divided by kilogram force dot second squared. I don't think you'd get anybody to buy that. Okay, and you divide that out, you get 155.3 slugs approximately. Use that as your mass and proceed on. Okay, none of this G sub C. So to summarize, I recommend that for the SI metric, uh, consider one newton is one kilogram meter per second squared. 
Uh, in the U.S. system, one pound, you don't need force at an F or an M. One pound, uh, which is a force, is equal to one slug foot per second squared. You just can't go wrong with that. So anything, any sentence using the word kilogram, I don't care whether they say uh, it weighs so many kilograms, it has a mass of any kind of kilograms, whatever, if they use the K word, it's a mass. Multiply by 9.8 and you've got uh, its weight. Uh, anything using a sentence that's got the P word, pound, uh, it is a weight. Divide by 32.2 and you've got its mass in, in slugs. It's just that simple. So I say in uh, mechanics and fluids, G sub C is like putting legs on a snake. You just don't need it floating through the problem. And uh, if you don't remember it, uh, you will be off, as I said, by a factor of 32.2. And if you are, then you're not off by 32.2. You're off by 32.2 squared or 900 times. Okay, So a big mistake. However, as I say here in thermodynamics and heat transfer, which uh, uh, the author and I do agree on, pound mass usually does not present a problem. You don't even really see G sub C because all the steam tables are in pound mass. Uh, somebody might someday do that, but uh, no one has. And the units in heat transfer are as well. So you have BTUs per pound mass and that kind of thing. So it, it usually isn't a problem. Uh, but in mechanics and fluids, it certainly does, especially especially mechanics. Okay, just uh, just my uh, uh, take on this uh, controversy: slug versus pound mass. So again, I invite you to visit my website as part of your exam preparations and plan of study: www.drtomsclassroom.com.